Now to our top story this half hour. Take a look at your screen right now. A big mess in southwest Philadelphia this morning after a driver crashes into a house there overnight. And get this, the homeowner says this is not the first time this has happened there. I have a news reporter, Rakesha Bailey, joining us live from the scene with a closer look at the damage and talk about a rude wake-up call, a rude awakening for those homeowners this morning, Rakesha. Yeah, good morning, Janelle. It has been an extremely long morning for these homeowners, and they even tell us that they just can't believe that this is happening again. Now, we're on Cobbs Parkway, and now that the sun is up and you're seeing a little bit more traffic, the speed limit here is 25 miles per hour. But since we've been out here, these cars have been flying. Now, the homeowner walked us through exactly what happened this morning, and she said this car was coming southbound down this road, and it ended up going through these barriers, jumped the fence, and then it crashed right into her home. And this part of her home is the sun porch. And you can just see the extent of the damage here because this is bricks. You're seeing pieces of the car that was also crashed into this home. And right now she is just, she's just distraught because she's not sure what to do next. Now here are some citizens at video showing this white car that slammed into the home. And the homeowner tells us that this all happened just before 2 a.m. Now the family was asleep at the time, but her daughter felt a shake. When they woke up and they went outside, they saw paramedics removing the driver from the wreckage who was transported to a nearby hospital. Now the homeowner also tells us that this is not the first time that this has happened. I've been in this house 27 years. This is the worst since I've been in this house. I've had numerous cars come up into my property, but this is the worst. You feel as though you're safe in your property, and when something like this happens, it just makes you think twice. And uh, the homeowner says that Al and I, they have been out here and they are deeming this part of the home unsafe to use, but they do have access to the rest of the home. And as you heard, she's been here for about 27 years, and this is not the first time that this incident has happened so much that she made sure that they actually put these white barriers up around the home just to prevent this type of an incident to, from happening and as you can see that did not help this morning so she's hoping that the city will at some point step in and slow drivers down reporting from southwest philly wakisha bailey cbs3 eyewitness news thank you wakisha